What is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Movement Monday, where we tackle everything from your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft so you can keep moving forward. My name is Matthew Cook, and I am so freaking excited today. I'm in Denver. I'm in Denver, Colorado. Um, this is the Denver, Colorado edition. Um, my wife and I are here. We're hanging out with family um, and enjoying our Thanksgiving week. And that's the best thing about being an entrepreneur is that it can be an entire week. So guys, this for me is probably one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. This is something I've been a little hesitant to teach about because this is something that for some people it may honestly trigger some of you, it may really bother you. Um, it may frustrate you because this may be a real kick in the pants for something that has been so true about the way that you ask for money. This is the difference between what makes people rich and what makes people poor. So a pretty intense topic today. And there's a very key distinction. There's, there's something that rich people do and there's something that poor people do. Now, I know this is kind of a little, it feels a little off topic because it's Movement Monday, right? And normally we're talking about the body, but these are all interrelated. How we're relating to our money is how we're relating to our body and how we're relating to our relationships and how we're relating to our business and our purpose and all these aspects. So today, I'm going to talk about the difference between the rich and the poor. And not necessarily people that are accumulating wealth, but people that are rich in income. And here's the difference. It's so specific. You ready for this? Rich people ask. That's it. Rich people ask. Rich people ask for what it is that they know that their services are valued at in the marketplace. They will ask for what they're meant to be paid for whatever the services that they're providing, whether that's a contract over a year, whether that's um, providing uh, coaching services to somebody, whether that's providing marketing, real estate services, it doesn't matter. People that make good money will ask for what it is that they are worth. Now here's the difference. So you're like, okay, that makes sense, duh, but this is the thing that a lot of poor people, and if you're watching, you may be poor and not even realize it because this is not very sustainable. I'll tell you what poor people do. Poor people will take less money, less benefit on the front end with the assumption, it's something that we call a covert contract. Covert contract. It's the idea that if I take less on the front end, that you'll find me to be a good worker, that you'll find me to be a good person, that you'll really like me, and that down the road, you'll take care of me. Unfortunately, it just simply isn't true. The idea is like, man, but if, if I do you a solid right now by not having you pay as much up front, then you know, eventually like you'll appreciate that and you'll take care of me. Like you'll come back around. You won't forget that I did you this huge service by not paying, having you pay as much up front or give me as much benefit up front. And then eventually you'll reward me for that. It's not the case folks. Unfortunately for most people, what ends up happening is they sit in that expectation that they will get paid more over time or they'll have more benefit over time and unfortunately it never comes to fruition so if you want to be in the rich category and just simply in the honest category rather than this covert like okay well you know we won't talk about it but there's kind of this unspoken agreement that you may not even have fully agreed to that you'll look after me and pay me more down the road, right? I want it to be agreed upon up front rather than an expectation down the road. So again, that is what separates the rich from the poor, is we're very, very clear up front what our worth is and the value of our services. And then after that, um, 
poor will typically not value their services enough to let people know up front and they will just assume that someday down the road somebody will help take care of them so that is it for this week guys um, this is huge I mean I see this with my clients every single day um, anytime you've ever given a discount on something anytime you've ever um, not fully again charged what it is the value of your services are worth you'll find that those are typically your most problematic customers um, whatever again doesn't matter the industry so with that being said, again, this is your Movement Monday. Uh, so excited to be with you. And again, my name is Matthew Cook. If you have any questions, shoot me a message below. It is a pleasure to be moving forward with you. So with that, keep moving forward, Creative Warrior. Speak with you next week.